Happy November, happy November. Thank you so much to our exclusive Patreon member. If you want to become an exclusive Patreon member, then the link is in the description below. November 3rd. We're going for the first walk in like what feels like three weeks because I've been sick. It's been raining for non-stop and there's someone coming. So I'm going to stop recording. Yeah, we haven't gone for a walk for ages because of illness and rain. So. It's so rainy. Yeah, literally. It's, it feels like it's been raining for three weeks solid and we've just come off the back of storm. Kieran? Kieran? Bit underwhelming. I didn't feel like I was in danger at all. Yeah. Eastbourne was in an amber zone, and honestly, I've seen stronger winds when it wasn't a storm. I've seen stronger winds from the park. Hey! We literally woke up this morning and saw it was blue skies and was like, now is our chance. It's now or never, baby. That's a good view. Kind of looks like a Windows desktop or a butter advert. Or a tea bag advert. Yeah. So as we said, the storm hit Eastbourne and the South Coast last night. And you know, we, we just said it wasn't that bad. I didn't feel in danger in my nice brick house. But it seems like every single path we try and go down has got like some kind of Metroidvania block where we need to get the chainsaw item from a boss in order to get through. So we actually came through there to get to here and over there is a fallen tree that's the path towards the two fallen trees so i guess the game developers are telling us to go this way it has to be this way let's go we made it to the top of the hill and now it's time to go back to the car through the wondrous glade of joy oh we're still in Jevington. Uh, <laughs> bugs. Fun fact about Jevington. <laughs> oh, oh, Jevington, darling. It's where the Bonoffi pie was invented. Supposedly. Supposedly. How true do you think that is? I don't know. Anyone can make an old blue plaque and say they invented something. We could put a blue plaque outside our house and say we invented gig vlogging. I find it very weird as well how they spell Bonoffi pie with an I. I'm not going to lie. It kind of annoys me. Bonoffi pie. Like, you don't spell toffee with an I, do you? No. Toffee. Well, I don't know, do you? No. Well then, it's fucking good shit though. Oh, it is. Excuse me, games. I don't think beards are meant to do that. Does yours not do that? No, when I look over to the right or left in real life, my beard actually follows my chin. It's quite weird. Yeah, but... I see I've... people like, out and about and they all do that. Oh, Willie Bin's fallen over in the storm. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> She's smart though, she knows when you hit the thing. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounded like the batteries were going a bit. Okay, so there seems to be a theme with these Christmas films, apart from Greece, that's not Christmas. Um, I can't quite put my finger on what the theme theme is, but I think it has something to do with white straight couples. I don't know why I get this idea. You look so sad, mate. You had a bath? Have you had a bath after that walk? I thought he just sits in the towel like, yeah, I'm okay with this. <laughs> this is how I am now. Are you okay? Just got one sticky up here. Hmm. There are signs of nerd here. Don't know why. Can't really put my finger on it. But there are definitely signs of nerd. Oh, the technical is one of my absolute favourites. It's orange and ginger syrup sponge though, isn't it? Yeah, have but they said treacle. Treacle sponge. Yeah, but have you had orange and ginger? That sounds banging. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, get down your proof. Yeah, go on full. Oh yeah, yum, yum, yum. Very moist. Very moist, it sure is. <laughs> oh, we love a moist pud. So, 9 p.m. basically on the dot for the download lineup. Let's have a look, shall we? What do you want? Who do you want to headline first? Uh, I don't know, because I'm probably not going to go. Well, yeah, because it's way too expensive and busy and kind of shit compared to other festivals, especially <laughs> mainland European festivals like Grass Pop and the like. But for me, I would like System of a Down, ACDC and Green Day. They're the three bands I would like to headline. That would be so good, but you know that's not going to happen. No. It is. Queens oh. of the Stone Age, Fall Out Boy, Avenged Sevenfold, Royal Blood, The Offspring, Machine Head, Bad Omens, Cor it's the lineup. It's poster. the one that got leaked. That's trash, sorry. That is fucking dog shit. That's that's literally... <gasps> Cookies are done! I'm not being funny, because I wouldn't joke 
at all on this channel. You know, no jokes allowed. That is literally the worst download liner they've ever shat out. And I'm not just talking about the headliners. I'm looking into like the fine print and there is no one there that I like. I'm starting to think I don't actually like rock and metal. The bands I like never seem to be on the fucking bill for anything. Oh, that's so weak though, isn't it? That liner. Oh, I know. There are bands sprinkled in there. There's like Bowling for Soup I'd love to see. I would like to see some 41 again. Tell you what though, Claire. Mm. The Bloodstock lineup's pretty fucking <gasps> sick though, isn't it? Bloodstock is, oh. Our cookies came out nicely though. Cookies! At least cookies won't be disappointing. Mm. That's really good. Yay! You know what? I love the rain to an extent because it's cozy and you can stay inside and play video games without feeling bad. But seriously, it has been raining non-stop in the UK pretty much for like four weeks now. And I am finally done with it. I no longer look out the window and go, oh, lovely rain outside. I'm inside being all cozy. No, nope, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I'm <laughs> done, Claire. I'm so sick of the rain. I literally just filmed like an Instagram story like, can it just stop now? And I heard you next door like the rain. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Father Ted. Teddy. Oh, yes, yes. Hello, Teddy. Yes. Hello. Oh, look at him work. He does have a little coat now. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, oh. man. Hey, it's Teddy. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, oh, man. Hey. Happy almost nine months. Uh, yeah, it's nearly your birthday. Hey. Oh, <laughs> You know, just once I want to go into a basement in Baldur's Gate and there's not just a pile of limbs on the floor. <laughs> Why is literally everyone in this city a murderer? So I, I I wouldn't want to live here. I think we should uh, move to Waterdeep. What about you? Yeah, I agree. Why is my guardian the She's guy talking to her? Hunted by cultists in Githyanki alike. I would pick that. And, of course, <laughs> the It's just talking to a T-posed <laughs> guardian. <laughs> <laughs> what is this blue thing in the sky? What what does it mean, Claire? I think it's called sun. Sun? Today is the first sunny morning in what feels like literally four weeks. So we are taking full advantage of that. And we're going for a little walkie walk in the woody wood. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, I go home to visit my mum and dad for a few days. Yeah, and today. Yeah, today. And this morning we were just like, oh my God, the sun, let's go, 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 go. Yeah, I, I walked into the bedroom like, Claire, it's sunny today. And Claire was like, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the awesome mornings I dreamed of. Oh, my child. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's slippery though. So why are you going to your parents? Me and my mum are big Christmas elves. And I know oh, it's only mid-November. But we're going to London tomorrow to see a Christmas carol at the theatre. And it will be really nice. I haven't visited home since the Arion vlog, which is like mid-September-ish. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go home, see my mum, my dad, my cat. <laughs> oh, it's going to be nice. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be chill. So the other day I decided enough's enough. I'm done done buying ground coffee so i decided to go and get myself a manual coffee grinder Whee! look how fun that is my voice is still fucked Whee! and now we've got actual coffee beans and that i can already tell is going to save us so much money me and claire are literal and i mean literal coffee fiends i can't film and grind at the same time so oh do you want to grind what are you doing on the floor picking up <laughs> Picking up fluff, it's okay. It's all of my hair. <laughs> it's always my hair. Claire, come grind. I mean, Sweet coffee. Sweet to the grind. Hey. Yeah, we are coffee fiends. We have legit got like every mean of coffee. We've got, you know, espresso thingies. We've got milk frother, wherever that is here. We've got milk frother. Don't look at the washing up. We've got a coffee pot, mate. We've got a drippy thingy and we've got a cafetiere, and we've got instant there. Morning workout. Yeah, she is. It's this, satisfying. Yeah. This morning I ground the coffee while walking around the table. It took about a minute and I felt like I got a good like 300 steps in. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Claire's gonna, here's an example of what I did in the morning. Oh. You can see she's got good form. Keep an eye on that grinder. Let's reveal the coffee. Good, good. 
Look at the absolute state of that. You know they say like millennials make coffee their whole personality. Attacked. And boil. Look at that. Coffee's done. Hey, so Claire has gone. She has gone to her family's for the weekend. She's going to do lots of Christmassy activities. And as we said, she hadn't seen him in ages. Leaves little old me to my little old self. Hey, I'm coming at you live from the Udi. Yeah, yesterday me and Kyle went to see some local band. What? Why don't how Trump do we... have lighters, bro? Yeah, how do we get lighters? <laughs> I want lighters. I want lighters. I want lighters. I want some chop lighters. <laughs> where are they? Can yeah, you get where are the chop lighters? lighters? They were some of the most professional local bands I've ever seen, and we really enjoyed like all three of them. There was a duo act with an acoustic guitar and a five string bass, and I loved his bass, that wooden finish. Oh! I'd have a wooden finish bass if I could afford it. Wouldn't you believe it? <sighs> Second band, proper power, more pop punk vibes. I'll tell you what, their voice was amazing. <laughs> And the final band is a band where two of the members, they are good friends of Chubb. They're both very much involved with the local Eastbourne music scene. And I tell you what, they are some of the most professional musician people <laughs> I've ever seen, heard. Their voice, the tone, the guitar work. Don't need a bass though, whatever. <laughs> Hey, so today I'm going to Southampton, which is where I went to uni. Gonna go see some mates. It's a couple of them's 30th. We're gonna go to our old watering hole, which is the firehouse. Might be the last time we go there, to be honest, because they kind of just announced that they're closing shop and relocating. Time to drive. No B-roll though, because Claire's not here to drive. Claire's not coming with me. <laughs> Arrived at Southampton two hours later. Not a bad journey at all. And you know what I'm doing here? I'm gonna go down memory lane. I'm just gonna go look at my old houses, maybe look at the uni. I don't have too long till I have to go pick up the keys for the Airbnb, but let's see how much we do. Just walking down the alleyway that I used to walk down to get to uni. And it's around autumn time, which is always the most nostalgic time. It's kind of starting school after the summer holidays and walking to school and such. It's always just really nostalgic. I just realized that it would have been 10 years ago, pretty much to the day when I started my second year and I moved into this house right here. That is the house that I lived in 10 years ago. So many crazy memories had in that place. New door though. I don't recognize that door. You know, I admit it's not the nicest area in the world, the Polygon in Southampton, but it's so nostalgic and God, it's the cheapest rent I've ever paid as an adult. I think at one point I was paying 215 pound a month 
which is just crazy. So much has changed about Southampton since I lived here though. Like the pubs I used to go to, there used to be a metal club called Dungeon, which was awesome. On Wednesdays, they'd have 60p vodka and cokes. There's Unit, which was like a rock club. And Firehouse, obviously, which is about to close, which is shit. New ones have opened, but I don't have nostalgia for them, so I don't care. But there's still The Hobbit, which is a Lord of the Rings themed, well, was Lord of the Rings themed until they got sued into oblivion pub. Now it's just generic fantasy. One of my favorite parts about living in Southampton were the parks, to be honest. In the summer, they were so nice. Right now in the winter, they're quite nice still. It just added a bit of nature that I really liked about the city. And there's a lot of parks and there's a lot of big parks. I believe they're all lit up at night now because when I first moved here, it was a bit dodgy, but I think they're all right now. It is weird to think though, that when I came to uni in 2012, smartphones were still really in their infancy you know obviously tiktok wasn't a thing tinder wasn't a thing if i got lost nowadays i'd just whip out apple maps or google maps or whatever but back then like i had like barely any reception like i had 4g but it was quite expensive still i remember one of the first nights where i got here i was completely battered with my hallmates and i got lost at like three in the morning and i remember calling kyle and he guided me home with his google maps on his computer while he was still in eastbourne and i was just walking around like do i go down this road and he's like take a left there i'm like cheers it was like proper old school sat navvy shit i am glad you don't have to do that shit these days but it was fun and it does make for a good story i am outside the reason why i moved to southampton i went to southampton solon which i know hasn't got the best reputation i'm aware of that but you know i would rather be a solent than a cunt but in all seriousness it's actually a great uni i really enjoyed it and the media department is actually legit good like i don't know i feel like whenever i went down to the camera area and picked up a camera or a microphone or whatever they always had the equipment and it was always high quality and it always worked but then again i have nothing else to go by because it's the only uni i've been to other unis might have been better but in my opinion the media department Department was sick. On my way to the Airbnb now, I think I might, as it's nearby, go to the Hobbit and get myself a cocktail. Just dropped off my stuff at the Airbnb. Right there is where Dungeon was, on this corner. And it was the literally the dirtiest, grimiest, most disgusting metal club you could ever ask for, and I loved it. And now it's a sports bar. But you know, if you can't beat them, join them. And we actually went in there and watched the World Cup a couple of years ago and we watched England lose. Okay, well that sucks. The uh, Hobbit's closed till five, even though Apple Maps said it was open. I've been umming and ahhing about going to my old uni halls and just seeing the outside of that for a while. But it's quite far away from where I was at the Hobbit. But I looked at the map and honestly, it's not too far away. I think when I was a student, I was way more lazy than I am now. I'm actually fitter than I was then, weirdly enough, 10 years later. Well, on the way to my old halls, I walked past Joiners, which is a venue that I used to go to a lot. It's actually a venue that me and the boys in Chubb really want to play because it's quite a nostalgic place for us. Well, that was interesting. I have been to Southampton a couple of times, quite a few times actually, since I moved away. And that was the first time I went round to my uni halls because it's quite out of the way. I'll tell you what, it hasn't changed a bit. Yeah, everything else seems to have changed in one way or another, whether it's a new skyscraper over here or new restaurants there or my old house having a new door unacceptable but yeah this whole area this whole like student accommodation area hasn't changed a bit it's as if i'm back in 2012. that concludes the tour of southampton or how i knew it or know it or whatever i might go get some food or i might just go firehouse but either way you're coming along with me got a five guys it was all right i feel like recently when i get like fast food i have it and it's delicious and then when i get it again it's kind of mid apart from what the pitta but yeah five guys box shop a few others every time i've had it after the first time it's just not been as good every time happy birthday don't happy film birthday. me i'm so sweaty happy birthday <laughs> oh. oh i'm sorry mate i'm sorry sorry looks like you're not too good at this game <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm good. He happens to be great. <laughs> Few words for your victory. I'm I'm happy. Thank you. You're welcome. I love how you're vlogging this. I feel vlogging fucking Scrabble. Winning. Hey! Any victory words? Uh, I'm quite surprised that I didn't just get shot out. So. <laughs> <laughs>
Very good. <laughs> I'm in the realm. Charlotte's in the realm. Jelly is in the realm. Jamie is not in the realm. You're not in the realm. You're not in the realm. Thoughts? <laughs> Football is in the round. Football is in the round. Well, no rugby, no rugby, no cricket. No. Tennis is though. And so basketball. Yeah. Is, he, is he seriously not remembered? Yeah. <laughs> Friendship. Friendship. There's no friendship in the Smith. round. Though. Smith isn't in the round. My middle name's Frederick. Technically, I am in the round. Mugfit. No, my middle name. John. Marshall. 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 <laughs> I hate you. Wait, but I am in the realm. No, you're not. Josh Parslow. Two S's. No. No. No, S to be two. Oh, two S's next to each other. Yeah. That's why Zach's in the realm. <laughs> Josh. Hi, sir. My what is it? Don't put it on YouTube. They can't do it. I'll bleep it all out. <laughs> <laughs> boo. Boo. You used to be Dungeon Boo. Boo. Ew. It doesn't look... It doesn't look disgusting in there. It doesn't look grotty. It's double dash. Yeah, I, I know. I, I told you. Like, it, where there's no randomizer. Double dash. Say the word stop and I will stop. And stop. All right. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Dave, you got to play winner. Oh, bad boy. you got to press A at start. Oh, that's why it wasn't grinding. I'm pretty to swap the character the whole time. <laughs> We're at the shooting star, and they've got double dash. And it's literally one of the best games I've ever played. And if you grew up with double dash, you know that it's one of the best games you're ever going to play. We have just completely overtaken this entire area. This entire area is now ours. Oh, yeah. Thoughts? We drew! <laughs> yes! Yay! We're both winners. No, 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 no. Third place. Third no, place. Third place. No, 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 no. You're both third place. Hang on. Look at the actual points. 24 points. Oh, actually, no, it says, it says I'm second. 22. No, 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 no. 34. 32. 22. Oh, yeah. oh, I've got to press A. Hey, there we go. Hang on. Why are you third and I'm fourth? Ross Reynolds! Fuck you. <laughs> Last night was good. Last night was really good. It was really good to see everyone again. I'll tell you what though, I find it really hard to vlog nights out because I don't want to be that guy who just points a camera at someone's face and be like, dance, monkey, dance. Nights out like that though, don't last long enough. Throughout the whole night, I was like, oh no, it's 11. Oh no, it's midnight. Oh no, it's one. The night's gonna be over. And here we are and it's over. Oh, I made it. Creepy sexualized baby. Oh no. <laughs> That's the most awkward thing. It's a creepy sexualized baby from my childhood. I went to my mum and dad's attic the other day and I found my Bratz dolls. So you bought them home. I bought them home. Including the weird gnome one. <laughs> it's a halfling. It's a halfling Bratz doll. Literally, imagine letting your kid's hair get that long that they're just like... Ugh. That's child abuse at that point. It is child abuse. Look at the size of her forehead as well. Oh my God. This one was my favourite. Why is that your favourite? Because she's got like the side part red hair going on i Where? just think she's cool why is she half naked because i haven't got around to dressing them yet <laughs> idiot this one has skates and, and she's the skater lady and she wears the skates and then you go and she spins whoa when i opened this bag up though that had all of them in it had a headless like knockoff action man and i don't know where his <laughs> head is it's just a knob and like a body and oh, an no. army suit i was like i only had like i didn't Poor get like action man i know i didn't have any brats boys so i had to have this like knockoff action man that i found at my grand's house <laughs> so he has no head now her hands are different to the others yeah they're not going like that because she's an ice skater ah. so she'll be like oh oh wait i did it wrong Oh, oh. I feel wow. like having hair like that on an ice skate rink would be 
You always see the hair up. Yeah. Know? I feel like that'd be a health and safety issue. I think you're right. Talk to the hand, honey. Mm. My arch nemesis. Nobster, when will your reign of terror end? Oh, don't mind me, just opening my cage. Ah, oh, that's much better. Don't worry, you're safe. You can go back to your family, Zombo Pumbo. You have my gratitude, truly. Not at all, boy. Had a thing for the great and mighty Zombo Pumbo. You know, I've always wanted a fried chicken candle. I just told Claire that I'm on a mar for the Sunday headliner for Bloodstock. She said, oh no, I'm going to be all stinky for the rowing business. Don't be mean to me. <laughs> Legit though, I'm on a mar. Kind of wish they were on the Friday and Opeth were on the Sunday, but what are you going to do? You know what? It's really weird seeing a Black Friday sale for live insects for Kimmy. I don't know. There's just something kind of weird about. Oh, locusts are on sale. Oh, 41% <laughs> off locusts. Sign me up. So yesterday we went to see a Treyu and maybe the vlog's out. Maybe it isn't. I don't know what order I'm going to edit these in, but we walked past someone who was playing the guitar and he noticed that Claire was wearing a Bodum t-shirt and he said, oh, Bodum, I love Bodum, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we started chatting to him for a bit and he started going on about how he like broke ribs at Slipknot gigs. And he's like, yeah, if you didn't go to, if you're not breaking ribs and coming out of broken noses in mosh pits, if you really, I don't think you've done mosh pits properly. Bleh. Me and Claire were just talking about how like, we're kind of just sick of meeting metalheads who just, go on about how badly injured they get at gigs and thinking it's like a trophy. It's like not a flex, is it? It's, it's so weird. It's like, have fun, your way, that's fair. Like, I'm not saying like, don't do what you want to do at a gig, but when you're telling me that you broke some ribs and you're expecting me to go, wow, well really? Done. Well done, wow, that's amazing. Oh, mate, you must be a real big party animal. Wow, you are the coolest person I've ever met. Like, what do you want from me? Finally got round to putting up the fairy lights. One of the most arduous parts of this tree. But it's over and now it's time to decorate. Yay, tinsel, Yay. tinsel next. Tinsel, tinsel time. Oh, a lovely Christmas leaf. You've got a little chef rat. It's got Remy. Remy. you got tiny tiger. Tiny tiger. I don't know. <laughs> got What's tiny? Angel, angel rat. I saw T-Y, like tie, and then I just went tiny. And then even though it's a bear, it's now called tiny tiger. You just went with it. I appreciate that. Yeah, and I've got a penguin in my hand. Is that Santa? Oh, it's a fat paedophile coming down my chimney. Way to ruin Christmas, is that? <laughs> I've seen everything! <laughs> For some reason, Zach really... <laughs> I hate that. We're not religious, as you know, but I've had this for years and Zach really hates it. It's awful. It's like a pedo cult thing. Every I don't know. Every you say that, you're like, it's a pedo cult. It just looks really pedo-y to me. One of Claire's favourite decorations is this, uh... Vagina. Stop it! <laughs> This is my favorite. Look at that. Isn't that just the most perfect Christmas decoration you've ever seen in your life? This is also one of my favorites. It's Derpy Robin. Uh, <laughs> Derpy Robin. Anyway, this is one of my favorites. It's Derpy Robin. I got him because his eye was sagging down and I felt bad for him. He's been found at the bottom of the box. Oh my God, where he belongs. Every year. This guy. Oh no. Zach angles it so he's just facing me while I'm watching TV. <laughs> no matter where I am, he'll always just be like. He is the bane of your Christmas life. He is. The final piece. The star. Ah. Oh, on it goes. <laughs> it's a bit floppy. This is always an issue. Yeah. It's you know ever so pretty. I'm looking forward to seeing it at night time. Which one's your favourite? I like this beer stein. Yeah. Got it from a Christmas market in Vienna. Nice. I like this beer stein. Oh yeah. Got it from a Christmas market in Vienna. Oh yeah, another beer stein. Yeah. I like this packet of beers. <laughs> Got it from Primark for 50p. Yeah, packet of beers, nice. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 
around. Claire! Claire! What? It's blue skies. No. I'm joking. I would never joke about blue skies. Kalukalay! The three day bender continues and it is day number three. Today, Chubb, the band I play bass in, is playing Blue Bar with a band called Rasslebacks, who are a great hard rock band. Really looking forward to this one, although I am fucking knackered. Hey, we got Mackies. Now we're going to go, but go over to Kyle's. So apparently he's got a surprise for us. I genuinely have no idea what it is and I'm a little scared. I've gotten a gift for everyone. What is, what that? is that? It's Dr. Pepper baked beans. Ew. <laughs> Official Dr. Pepper baked beans. Oh, sweet oh and sassy. no. Sweet and sassy beans. Oh my god. I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna try some? There are some things that shouldn't be mixed with beans. <laughs> Sorts? I do love Dr. Pepper. Yeah, that's true. It's like my favourite drink. What about baked beans? Are they your favourite bean? <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Match made in heaven. There they are. I mean, they don't smell terrible, to be fair. Yeah. They just smell like barbecue, yeah. They look good. They smell like burnt. Like... Yeah. Look at the specimen. Alright. Go on, then. Right. Go on, then. <laughs> shin, shin, grace. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Such a chaotic way of eating. <laughs> Fucking oh savaging God. them. You know how many cutlery? You're eating it with your bare hands. It's like. Fucking gorilla. It was quite hot as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Tell you what, though. That's right, and it kind of does taste like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. That's, actually not, that's actually not too bad. They're just. Yeah, a bit too sweet beans. Oh. Thoughts? Oh. 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 It's kind of scary. I'll have a bean. I think you should try it. That's all right. I wouldn't want to eat a whole like breakfast worth of that. Very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Electric Cool Boy look AI generated? I am Henry now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's Henry. <laughs> I'm here to suck your food. <laughs> it rips Henry's face off and wearing it as a mask. <laughs> Poor Henry. When we play, we Hey Ben. Hi oh, mate. How you doing? I'm good. We're yeah. playing a gig today at Blue. We are. And, and this be... is Blue. Hello Claire. Hello, I'm Blue. <laughs> You're Blue. That would be that would I. That's the one. Look at that. Look at that. Hey. I fucking love Marks and Sparks. Marks and Sparks yeah. coming in through. <laughs> coming in through. <laughs> Look at that. And it's not just, it's not just <laughs> a trolley. It's an M&S trolley. Well, that's, oh, well, that's handy. Just played a gig. It went really well. Played it at Blue Bar. And we were worried that we were going to have to log everything across town. But Kyle just found a trolley. So, hell yeah. <laughs> we should bring a trolley to every gig we play. Yeah. Check out there, mate. I, uh... Oh, oh, dear. oh, no, no. Oh. It almost impaled me. Oh, my God. I almost caught your death on camera. This yeah, was almost like, a snuff oh, film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, if that impaled you, I'll take a picture and we can use it for our EP artwork. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like mayhem. <laughs> but is that how you wipe with me just impaled that? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely point it the other way and then we can use it to, like, attack Yeah, people. now it's a battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battery, battery. <laughs> I mean, we are going down to fucking this room. Really. Yeah. yeah, we might need oh. it. The glamorous behind the scenes lifestyle of Chubb <laughs> using an old MS trolley to get the drum kit home. <laughs> hey, you know, man, those crackheads be cracked. <laughs> and they really uh, did us a solid. They came through to crack. They came through. Special delivery. <laughs> what you got there, Kyle? Is, are you Father Christmas? Yes, ho ho ho, Mark. Sorry. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh. <laughs> if only my phone wasn't so blurry. I feel like this is mine and Claire's personalities. I'm just on high alert, ADHD. Oh my god, oh my god, everything is go everything is out to get me. And then you got Claire over here just going with the flow, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. It'll sort itself out. Oh my god, Claire. Oh my god, we're gonna miss the train. No, we never miss the train. Only because I'm the one that rushes for the fucking train. No, we never miss the train. It's okay. Whatever, you know. I'll just roll a cigarette now. No, no, Claire, we're gonna miss the train. No. Found out a lovely new feature about my car. So not only does the, uh, you know, the blower, it has to be on full whack to do anything, and then you turn it down one and it's like, okay. No. <laughs> But when I put the, uh, what's it called? The back back windscreen thingy defrosty button. <laughs> it makes the radio hiss. Ah, this car never fails to amaze me. It's got its features. <laughs> hey. A fly went in your mouth. A fly went in your mouth? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to swallow a spider to catch that fly. And then a cat, and then a dog, and then a, I've forgotten the rest. Horse? Yeah, why would a horse eat a dog? Anyway. Tangent. We're back in the woods. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's still in horse eating dog mode. Um, Can't disturb me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in the woods. It was blue skies and we were just like, you know what? Let's do it. We're going out for a walk. It's going to be magical, wonderful and blissful. I think the winter makes the woodland look really pretty. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Because there are no like leaves on the trees. The sun like shines down onto the forest floor and like highlights all of the colours and stuff. Yeah. So it's like pretty in like a different way. It's so nice. And yeah, we haven't had the chance to go on like a wood walk for like ages. Owie. Oh. And it's really nice. Mm. Just woke up this morning, we were like, oh my God, the sun's out. Had a unhealthy weekend. So. Yes. <laughs> it feels like something we should be doing. Yeah. Unhealthy. Three days in a row of drinking you know what my body's like please what you got there i got some coffee coffee yum, yum, yum. delicious morning brown hey we're having our cup of coffee next to the massive crater thing it's not that big to be honest it's not massive next to the crater that those dastardly germans made <laughs> one of my favorite comments on the channel is uh german here sorry about all the holes in your countryside but there's a lot of um, like bike people that are super grateful for those holes. Yeah, loads of <laughs> loads of BMXs use it to, as like ramps and shit. So thank bike you, people. bike people. <laughs> I didn't think of what it was. I was like the bike people. <laughs> Yesterday we went round my mum's and had a Christmas making sesh because me and my Claire, me and my Claire, oh, because me Claire and my family just enjoy arts and crafts. Hey buddy, <coughs> hey buddy. Sit. Come on, do it for the camera, mate. Come on. You can do it. Sit, sit. 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 I give up. No. 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 Why are you so badly behaved? Let's see your progress. Ooh. Nice. Pretty good tree. What you got in there? I got snow. Snow? Snow. The master crafter has a pea tree that is crap. <laughs> That's a great Christmas tree. And what about yours then, Zach? Uh, <laughs> mine died. <laughs> How's yours coming on, Claire? Okay, okay. Yeah? I'm trusting the process, yeah. Will I? Willow's obviously oh. gonna be the best. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Ubi? Kill me! How's your tiramisu? It's really good, especially when you're watching bake at the same time, because then they're making yummy food, and you're eating yummy food. It's just great. It's just great. Hell yeah. Oh, Matty so showstopper was perfect. Well, that means Matty had a bit, a bit of a lead. Gnarly. But, you know, we'll see. It's only one's game. It's not yeah. Dan's, though. He's not going to win. No, Dan's Sorry, not going to win. Ha <laughs> ha, dense cake. Dance, no. no apples. 2,000. 23 goes to Matty! <laughs> oh, yay! No way! Oh, <laughs> mercy, mercy. Yay, Matty, Matty, Matty! 
Awesome. I'm glad they judge it on the day, not like the past weeks, because I feel like Josh was a lot stronger a baker in the past yeah. weeks. He is really good. He He's is really just good, so but... underconfident and yeah. it makes him seem bad. Exactly. Aww. You know, one day I'll do a playthrough of this game where I keep both eyes. <laughs> Here we are again. Here we are again. Giving up your eye. Yep, there you go, mate. You got yeah. the eye. So all of the yearly unwrap things from streaming services is coming out and... I tell you what, no spoilers, because we are going to make a video about them, but I think me and Claire should change Mead and Metal to Mead and Soundtracks, because <laughs> all we seem to listen to is video game soundtracks and sprinkling in a bit of metal. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Mead and Soundtracks coming never. Bye. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! It's me, D. Snyder of Twisted Sister. Yeah, you know me, and I am here to tell you... Subscribe to Mead and Metal. Subscribe to Mead and Metal. The power of Christ. I mean, subscribe to Mead and Metal.